as school leaders, your number one priority is safety. Talk about that. The number one nightmare that I have uh, as a superintendent, as a principal, as a teacher, is a nightmare of a tragic, uh, horrific you know, event like this going on. My heart uh, goes out to that learning community, the leaders, the parents, the families. Gosh, what a horrible tragedy. And uh, with that, uh, we have a lot of systems in place with Las Cruces Public Schools. Number one, we've listened to the voters our bond election, the dollars that have kicked in to help us provide some safety equipment from fencing, uh, you know, our entrances into building, our security cameras, uh, the funding for staffing security. We've upped our security in all our schools uh, where we didn't have those type of things before. Our district is just always brainstorming uh, different ways to make things safer for our students. And really, I need everyone's help. We need everyone to be very vigilant. You suspect, you see something, report it. Call 911, don't wait. Uh, you know, get, get us involved, get authorities involved. Uh, let's be proactive and uh, let, let's do our very best with any information. And that's why also part of our bully proofing model is we have everyone commit. And I thank you, Southwest New Mexico, Las Cruces, parents, students, staff, we committed to no bullying, no violence, no drugs. Don't participate, walk away, tell an adult. This is our, our, our obligation is to tell someone, let, let, let's be proactive on this together. Talk about the investments that you have made into security. Do you have that number handy? I don't have the number uh, offhand, but we have invested a lot of dollars. Just look around throughout our community. You're gonna see new fencing projects, uh, you know, leading, uh, people that want to visit our campuses straight into the office. When you enter the office areas, you obviously have, you know, secure uh, hallways. And uh, we also have a new, uh, uh, gosh, oh, I'm sorry, I went blank. Oh, the Raptor. Raptor, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. We also have uh, a new system, a Raptor system that, you know, checks the identity of people coming into our buildings. We're, we're trying to take every precaution we can it's not 100%, uh, uh, you know, proven, but we're, we're looking at, you know, any options, anything we can do for the safety of our students. Mm -hmm. You know, we met with two families outside Loma Heights Elementary and talking to these children, these students, both said that when they hear news like this, they worry. They say they don't feel safe in schools. What would you tell their families? I tell their families, again, to continue uh, being committed, you know, bull, no bullying, no violence, no drugs, and that's where it's all, you know, commingled. Don't participate. Walk away. Tell an adult. That's what makes safety uh, campuses, you know, and assures us we have safe place for kids to learn. But also, adults have a huge responsibility. We have to be proactive, uh, conducting mediations, uh, listening to students with the smallest things. We monitor social media, you know, when there are even minimal. Uh, threats with social media, we act. We don't treat things as just a drill anymore. We, we react as if it's a real thing fixing to happen. So it's all on prevention, you know, to work together, uh, you know, as a community to make it a safe place. How possible is it for a child or adult to bring a gun or weapon onto any campus? Ma'am, those are possibilities that can happen anywhere. You know, it's unfortunate, even in, in churches throughout the United States, things like this have happened. You know, Walmarts, uh, you know, as it's touched our community next uh, in, in El Paso, it's just horrible. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, that's why uh, we have laws. Uh, you know, we have to respect our, our laws and the judicial system to sort those type of things out. And uh, but th that's that's the world we live in. Again, be vigilant. You see something that's just not doesn't seem right. Report it, you know, be proactive and, uh, you know, take action. And I ask because we have seen some schools across the country, some schools in more dangerous neighborhoods, you know, use metal detectors, deploy, you know, some would argue extreme measures to keep weapons out of school. Any idea if you'll be taking precautions like that in the near future? Those are always things that we've looked at and we've looked at them throughout the past and everything. But, you know, you stop and you look at define a weapon. A pencil could be a weapon. You know, it's about education and really, uh, you know, the, the value of, 
you know, morals and principles. But uh, on the other hand, we all got to be good citizens. Again, support character counts, all the positive things that we do in education. And uh, again, social emotional support. Uh, I know our teachers are also trained to identify kids that need extra attention and give them the support through counseling, through intervention, everything we can do to support each other and, and making it a safe place because you know what, right now I can assure you even going up into the last day of school, you know, Las Cruces Public Schools is a very warm, welcoming place that kids can learn to the last minute as they go out into the summer. Uh, and we continue learning as we all grow together. Yeah, what about your commitment to mental health and helping these kids with their mental health? Uh, that mental health, you know, really uh, every student has their needs individually, and it's our job pretty much now to be challenged to meet those needs of every individual. And, uh, you know, you start looking at equity and opportunities for everyone. That's what we try to do is provide those opportunities, find their niche, uh, and again, provide them the, the, you know, the support that they need. And I strongly feel we're doing that. You know, I wish we had, uh, you know, more counselors and social workers coming out of all our educational institutes, uh, New Mexico State, UTEP, uh, UNM, all our colleges. We don't have the numbers there. You know, we've had postings that we can't fill due to that. You know, so again, it's it's a national trend, you know, with all jobs. And uh, but I definitely respect and appreciate all their hard work with our employees that are here every day doing what's best and a lot of huge successes on the kids that we have met. Mr. Ramos, thank you. Any questions, Tom? Oh,